G'day mates and welcome back to Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. Now, today I have a little plan that I want to work on. After uh, watching some of the Yogscar Civ games where they bitch about a certain leader, that is to say, Eleanor of Aquitaine, I decided that I wanted to try and take over the world, but do so peacefully. Eleanor's special power is Court of Love, which sounds enticing. Essentially, each great work in a city causes minus one loyalty within nine tiles. So that means if we get a bunch of cities and fill them with great works, we can start to massively drop uh, the loyalty of uh, opposing cities. More importantly, when they switch over, they immediately come to our civilization. And I think that after a while, if we like get this working well, we could probably have like a cascading effect of just taking over the whole world with this. But we have to decide, are we playing as France or England? And I've already decided we are playing as France because who else would be cowardly enough not to fight a war? I've got a mod on that lets uh, the in-game, sorry, the in-land uh, areas flood as well, which uh, should be a little bit of fun because that means that we're going to have some horrible disasters going on. Do you want to set up a little bit more? Oh, there's one thing we want to do. Uh, where is he? Where is he? There he is. There we go. Too easy. Let's get rolling. I'm going to keep it real. I love how smug she looks. This is brilliant. Ah, yes. Paris, America. Man, I love that town. It, it, it probably exists, actually, now that I say that. I'll have to look that up afterwards. That's a good point. Can you actually make city-states rebel? I'm not sure if you can. It's 42 points per turn, which is a lot. Hmm. I think it might be possible if we, like, surround it with cities. Oh, brilliant. We're going to have to paint paintings of Suestroming now. Oh, yeah, we're going to need Amani. She reduces the uh, loyalty of nearby locations. This is going to be pretty good, I think. Is there any more than that? Okay, she's pretty good. Right. Oh, hell yeah. We get Confucius. I'm down. Let's get him in. Uh, over. Oh, God, he can't make it. He's, he's a little bit chubby. He's also apparently a white man. I'm going to go with Taoism because, you know, it's like the Tao and Warhammer. And we're all going to come together under one banner and get controlled by some sort of pheromones that the Ethereals are releasing. It's fine. There he is. The people of Australia as their <sighs> We're back home, baby. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna have to go, you know, peacefully get you into my empire later, mate. You'll be right. Bugger me, Australia's all the way over here. They're gonna be like the final boss. <laughs> oh, dude, nice. We can build a colossal head. Why do we need this? Like, I'm glad we have it, and I want it, and it's good. We're gonna build more of them. But why do we need this? Oh, man, I didn't even see. They settled a city really close. Hello, Sweden. I think you might be the first one who's going to fall to me. Oh, he has got a bit of friends, though. Uh-oh, she noticed I settled a little bit close. Sorry, lady, but you're about to have a bigger problem. Another thing to remember is that religion affects uh, loyalty as well, so we're going to build up some uh, good religion. Taoism is already spreading pretty well, if we uh, pop on to religious view real quick. We've got some nice uh, Taoism going around. The real issue is zo uh, Zoanastrism up here, and I don't know where Islam is, so we don't have to worry about it. Oh, God. That's something I don't want to see. <laughs> nope. Hang on a sec. I can just see the edge of a very violent storm. Maybe don't go sailing out there. Oh, I just... What What, what are you... Mm, I saw that. It's coming very close. Wait. No. I think I can hear it again. Is this... That's a didgeridoo. Don't you do this to me. Don't you didgeridoo this to me. <laughs> Here we go, the first actual the great works of the game. Right we got Songs of Chu. Lovely. Well, here you go. You can see it's taking a minus two right now. We're gonna need a few more. What the? What is happening here? Why is there like a little rebel flags? All right, whatever. But we can start to try and take some of the cities. I think these are gonna be hard to take. I think we're gonna go for these ones down here first. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking tasty. Get another city over here, start putting on some pressure. Hey, there we go. All right, that's going to super boost my uh, religion. I've now got two apostles and a whole bunch more faith. Uh, that is bloody good. Oh, God, I'm already starting to just pile up riders. I don't have any slots for you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, what? Oh. Kind of forgot they could do this, to be honest. Well, this city needs walls now. Oh, no, it's not going to get them. Oh, boy, this city needs defenders. That Okay, all right, we're going to have to actually try and fight a war now. Oh, boy. Okay. Bugger me, city. It's rising 10 a turn because of nearby citizens and other effects. And Are you kidding me? All right, we got to, we got to like, knock this place out. Oh, bugger me. Just everything is going my way today. Thanks. That's on fire now. Brilliant. Are you kidding me? 
Sweden invades me and the World Congress goes, no, no, we don't have to care about Sweden invading them. And then they go, we do have to care about the fact that, hey, Eleanor's converting cities. So now there's a religious emergency against me. Oh, it, it's it's just the Swedish lady. Oh, okay. Um, Are you kidding me? Can I get a break, please? My God. Look, I got so demoralized. I've just gone and ordered pizza and now I'm eating it while I play. Screw this bloody game. You're not buying a Sistine Chapel. Oh my God, finally. I see it. I see you. Negative loyalty. And we're about to have a spy drop their loyalty as well. Oh my God, finally. It's beginning. Finally. I, what? I, as it switches, you then want to make peace. You. Abs yes, I would like peace. I would happily take peace. Because being at war isn't actually going to get me anything, and it means you can't There's kill my religious units fight. anymore. Oh my god. Right. We're taking to lose. Now, how's the rest of these places looking? We got 15 over here. We got 9 on mine. I mean, Leventa is the next place to take, and that's a city-state, really. But if we get it, it means 11 more pop to push onto their cities, and then we can probably take Got Gutberg. I can't escape it, can I? Here it is. It's back. Under the shade of a cooler bar tree. It's just always gonna happen. I'm never gonna have a Civ game without Waltzing Matilda in the background. God, I love Civ. <laughs> well, I, uh, I saw that one coming. I have an army this time, at least. You know how they say the pen is mightier than the sword? I, I believe that's true when it comes to my empire. Not because I'm converting cities, but because I have so many goddamn riders, I may actually be better off stabbing people to death with pens. Why do I have so many and nowhere to put their writing? Why is this happening to me, game? Oh my god, we're actually getting Leventa, really? Damn, we're actually gonna get Leventa. That should give us 12 pop as well, which is gonna massively boost- Oh, <gasps> we could get a Rero. Oh, damn, now they don't have a governor. Okay, crap, there's gotta be a way to do this. We're currently gonna kill Malmo's governor. We can get them low. We can actually start taking a few cities now. God damn it, they took Amboise. Whoops, but- it's gonna rebel in two turns, so we're good. Oh no, Bordeaux fell as well. It's just gonna become mine again. I guess that's okay. <laughs> oh man, she would peace with me if I gave her a, fu a fur because it's all being transferred with Bordeaux and oh, sorry Bordeaux and uh, all of these all these things. That that's okay. I accept. I agree. Except wait, it just turned back to my civilization. Oh, uh, I don't know what this is, but I get out of here. She peaced and immediately switched back to being mine. Thank you, Sweden. You're a silly one. That was a very stupid war. Why did you do that? All right, time to show off a little trick that we've got up our sleeve. We have bread and circuses right here, which means that when this city is active, each of my citizens enact a 0.5 loyalty pressure bonus, and it also applies to cities within nine tiles, 10% less effective per tile. So what that means is as soon as this starts going, everyone else is starting to get affected by it. Uh, Malmo's about to lose its governor and we, uh, be getting super affected. And Leventa's about to fall, which means we're getting another 11 bonuses over here. And we've got a writer uh, coming down here. Ah, oh, damn it, we just came out of slots. All right, well, we've got an, uh, got an art museum about to open up, which means we can get a few more pieces of art down here. And that should start flipping cities. It should be a cascade once things get going. There we go, Malmo Rebellion in nine turns. Damn, that's a good start. Uh, let's get you jumping over to Ourobor. Uh, hang on, where, where, where would flip? Oh, Gothenburg is uh, going to drop uh, at some point in the future. <laughs> but look at it; that was so effective. That that uh, bread and circuses has like dropped everything down. The reason why it took me so long to do that was because it needs to be a high pop city, and you need to have an entertainment district in it, which I obviously would have had if Sweden hadn't taken my city way earlier in that war. That first war screwed me so hard; I just wasn't ready for it. I like that it's waltzing Matilda just like blasting out right now as well. Just like as we sort of uh, take over the world. Not quite sure. It, it just, it feels like it fits to me, you know? Oh my god, we just got even more. They're dropping at 9.6, 6.5, 0.1. Oh, he's, he's going to go down when I deal with him. He's going down as well. This is good. <laughs> Just realized we've accidentally captured a Swedish unit here. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Your army was just running up through, uh, through Leventa. I am waiting for Leventa to rebel in two turns and that to have some fun times do it. By the way, guys, in this game, Sweden won the Nobel Peace Prize. They've invaded me three times because their cities were willingly joining me. 
seems peaceful. Is that guy actually just still stuck? Does he just not realize he can go out? Has, has, has word of the war not reached him yet? And he's still staying within what is technically neutral territory. Leventer is mine. Hello there, darling. Wasn't expecting this one. Oh, shit. I should have got the bombard. Whoops. You ever just wanted style points so you captured a bandit camp with a settler? <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, don't question this. I'm just putting them over here so I can try and steal these city-states, maybe. I don't know. I just... I needed another city. Malmo's ended me willing... Wang. <laughs> Cut that out. Just, 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 just take a real quick roll that one back. Anyway, we are in the uh, we're in the golden age. Uh, we now have 1.5 loyalty within, uh, within all tiles. Oh, no. They took Amboy's... Uh, hang on. Excuse me. Sorry. Hell, okay. Two turns. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. We'll get it back. <laughs> I don't think I've actually captured a city this entire game. I've just let even my own city that I've gotten back just by my bloody uh, loyalty. Which honestly, it's not even that bad. It's a pretty good way to do it. Also, I've decided we're communist now. Because, I don't know, it was honestly just better than going for democracy. It's gotten to the point where I'm building entertainment complexes instead of units on the front lines because they're genuinely more effective at winning me battles. So here's the other thing is I get two error score every time a city flips to me, which means even when my own city is flipping back and forth, I'm getting two error score every time, which is hilarious. And there we go. That's a city that's mine. 13 pop. God damn. Oh, wow, they're willing to make peace in exchange for him, boys. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen to all of your cities in, like, a few turns. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm not getting that city back in one turn. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Australia, no. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. We got Gut Gutberg. There we go. Okay, well, Korea's going to space, so that's going to suck. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm going to win culture in 54 turns. So I think I might actually just win. I'm not complaining. I, I didn't really, wasn't actually going for the victory. It was just sort of tangential. Let's, uh, let's keep going, shall we? Oh my god, this city was 20 pop. And I'm about to do bread and circuses, which should just really screw up. They, their capital was smaller. That's their biggest city. There we go. We've actually got their capital falling to us. Only at 2.6, but that's amazing that it's gone that quick. It was one turn to switch over from like... Plus 10 to minus 2.6. Oh, here we go. She's given it another go. Wow. Do you not remember the last three times this tried to happen? Oh. Oh, dude, I got, I got the uh, Pikun Mapu as well. Hey, we've got Tukovsky. Tukovsky, yes. Oh, there we go. We've got Stockholm. Oh, my God. Looks like they're the ones with Stockholm Syndrome. Hello, hello, hello. We've got this. We're getting Hells Born in like 12 turns. Sweden, just give up. I'm actually about to eliminate a sieve just by like never going to war with them. This is great. This one can hit two sieves at once. Let's see what happens. Purple map away. They go in headliners. Oh my god, yes. Oh man, I can actually like make cities lose loyalty with the uh, rock band. Oh, that's just an extra level of fun. Oh my god. Oh wait, I took Jerusalem as well. Wait, Jerusalem just joined me? <laughs> and who put all these mountains here? What? These tunnels, rather. God, I'm tired. Yes, who put all these mountains here? Yes, I think we know that. It was the Tau Jesus. Well, the Ottomans have gone to war with me. I don't actually... Oh no, they're over there. Oh god, okay. Oh, but you died! <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, that's so satisfying. I actually killed someone just by wiping them off the map. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's so good. Anyway, the Ottomans are now at war with me, which is not really an issue. I still have biplanes, and I don't think they have any. But uh, I think the only thing left to do is win the game now, if I can do that with tourism. Otherwise, I'm pretty much done. I need to go to bed. Oh, um, um... <laughs> I wouldn't be afraid. I didn't just see three giant death robots walk into my territory. This is concerning. Where is that nuke I was building? Jerusalem may fall, I'll be honest. The Holy Land probably ain't gonna hold. This is one hell of a crusade. Oh my god, Paris fell so fast. I never think of the future. However, uh, Paris is coming back to me in two turns, so it's fine. I'm not really fussed. All right, well, that was a little bit of a setback, but she'll be all right. There we go, victory in five turns. My roaming rock bands are just tearing this place up now. But uh, my, I, like, my, like, my whole land is getting invaded by these robots, and they just won't go bloody away. 
Still haven't built mine yet. But it's basically just like, I keep coming back up with a revolution every few days after the robot's kicking the door again. You can't stop the music, man. So you've actually got a nuke ready, so I'm just gonna do the logical thing and nuke Paris to get these robots off of it. It's fine, I'll probably keep them. I'll clean it up later, send in some builders or something. It'll still probably come to me, even though I've nuked it. There's no reason it won't like me, surely. Zero, zero reason to be concerned. Yeah, it's still coming back to me. It still loves me. I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> Got rid of the robots, at least. We'll ensure that our culture stands for all time. Well, there we go. That was an incredibly long recording session, and I'm going to bed now. But, uh, yeah, I obviously I didn't ever take over the whole world. I think that would have taken far too long. I was impressed with how easy it was to do it once uh, you took, like, one city. If I hadn't lost, and, uh, lost to lose at the start, that would have gone way easier. But that set me back so far because I had to recapture the city and I had to, like, go back through that. It would have been, like, it, that would have been my ace in the hole to sort of get into Sweden. But, uh, unfortunately, they actually managed to uh, cuck me on that one and take the city. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll be Rumi. More than happy to do more of the stuff like this in the future. I do quite enjoy Civ 6 and playing with its little mechanics. Loyalty's a mechanic that I've never really used at all. It was just there. So it was quite fun to actually focus on it for once. Anyway, till next time everyone, farewell.